if you have been disappointed look up and you've been heartbroken whether in a love relationship or in a business relationship the next time you see anyone that old experience will come forward and you will start suspecting people oh i want to give you a nice seat why who are you why are you giving me a nice seat and the person says why are you this harsh what did i do and he said i'm sorry i'm coming from a memory of pain and suspicion remember that men are not your source they are only channels the real source praise god get ready to experience the boundless love and unwavering promises of god welcome to dominion house tv where apostle joshua selma shares life-changing messages that will ignite your faith revive your spirit and empower you to walk in victory and purpose join us on this transformative journey as we delve into the world confront limitations and unleash the miraculous power of god's presence in our lives remain blessed as you listen your last prayer partner disappointed you so when someone says let us pray you say you let us i will talk to god by myself i don't need any prayer partner who carries my issues all over ghana no you see if you don't change you will be limited because you will drive away good things because of what happened yesterday not everybody is wicked not everybody is a demon not everybody's not every man is an unserious man not every woman is a deceiver don't use yesterday to paint that picture on everyone not every pastor is a liar no sir are we learning now it's amazing how yesterday can make you become vicious and unforgiving the moment you see people you interpret them you look like the person who defrauded me if i look like the person am i that person These are your past experiences good or bad past experiences good or bad let me tell you this experiences have such power from your yesterday they can exert influence on your today and even your tomorrow experiences i hope you know that yesterday is very jealous yesterday never allows your day your today and your tomorrow to go in peace it wants to relieve itself again in your today and your tomorrow you must learn how to break away from the limitations of yesterday the failure of yesterday will not seem to leave you in peace it still wants to relieve itself in your today and your tomorrow experiences please look at me let's say you had to spend for some reason 10 years to finish from high school you know that's that's not the normal progression you are already used to delay and pain the day you hear that God can give speed, you will struggle to believe it because your mindset, all your mindset has known is pain and hardship and suffering. Is someone learning this morning? Your past experiences. Past experiences. Some of you, you came to church this morning carrying yesterday is the reason why you can't go forward the luggage you have tied at your your waist your hands cannot move you forward i need you to cut it away cut it away yesterday needs to go apostle five men have come into my life they tore my life into pieces let me not see any man in front of me what if the fifth person is jesus just what if i'm thinking aloud what if the fifth person is Jesus will you drive Jesus because five men destroyed your life four men came into my life I lost my job what if the fifth person is your destiny helper sent by God anointed by God it's dangerous to take your pain of yesterday and punish anyone in your today punish anyone in your tomorrow no now don't get me wrong the events past can be very painful their memories can be there but you have to brace up and allow yourself to be healed for someone god is bringing you that healing this morning it's time to move forward it's time to believe again it's time to trust again past experiences thank you you can follow us on all our social media handles at flaming channel also visit us at www.flamingchannel.com thank you and victory. May God's presence continue to guide and empower you on your journey. Blessings and peace to you in Jesus' name.